Hello everyone, I'm Frances from Paula's Choice UK and today I have the privilege of being able to speak with Paula Bigon, the founder of Paula's Choice Skincare. I really admire you as um, a female entrepreneur and I think that you're a really great role model, but um, I'd really like to know how you got started. From very young, I just didn't want to have bad skin. And then as I found out more and more about skin and skincare and skincare ingredients, then I didn't want to have anyone have to struggle with what I went through. And then that culminated, I mean, surprisingly to me, in you know, 21 books and an international cosmetics company that's distributed around the world. I, I call myself an accidental entrepreneur. And what's kept you motivated over the years? The, the wonderful feedback uh, from women over the years has been a great motivator. What advice would you give a young woman starting out in their career? I think the major thing I would ask any young person to consider is that appearance is everything. I know we're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but everyone does. And so pay attention closely that you represent what you want to be. Paula, I feel like a lot of people that I meet are always on a quest for perfect skin, but do you think that that exists? To one degree or another, everyone is struggling to have great skin. So I think the perfect thing, we just need to let go of that and just have the best skincare routine that meets our skincare goals. But if perfection is what you, you're after, then you're gonna be on a treadmill, you're never gonna be able to get off. Now I have some quick fire questions for you. What's your favorite thing about visiting the UK? It's the people, it's the accents, it's the, it's the pubs, it's the hanging out, it's, um, and I hate sounding like an American wherever I go. I, I wanna have all these accents and the rich culture. I just, I do, I love the UK, I do. If you were stuck on a desert island, what one product would you take with you? Well, it can never really be one product, right? I mean, it, I need a sunscreen. I mean, no question, I need a sunscreen. And then my 2% beta hydroxy acid liquid, I'm not going anywhere without that. My toothbrush, probably floss, and Brad Pitt. I'm easy going. If you could meet any celebrity, who would it be? The one celebrity everybody should see is Angelina Jolie. Because as beautiful as she is, in, in, you know, on screen, in person, she's like, you cannot take your eyes off of her. She's one of the most amazingly gorgeous women I've ever met. Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions, Paula. It's been really interesting. And hopefully you'll be back in the UK again soon. Oh, I'm counting on it. <laughs>